Hi guys. So I want to make this video and share with you uh, what a sister Beverly Stewart um, sent to me through email. She has a few dreams about um, the tribulation and a few, uh, sorry I say uh and and so much. I'm sorry you guys, that's just the way I talk. But anyway, um, about, let's see, there's New York and there's Arizona and some of these. And so I'm going to share them with you. I'm going to read them. So the first dream I had was in June 2013. I had a dream first of a scene of a young woman being walked into what looks like a prison of some sort with barbed wire and gates. And I knew in my spirit this was her family and they were betraying her and she was going to be killed. I could feel her betrayal. It was horrible. And I sensed that this was happening everywhere in the U.S. Then I was literally flying over the U.S. And I knew because the angel, I think it was an angel, not positive, probably, but he would shine a spotlight on scenes. Uh, he flew me over Phoenix, Arizona, where I used to live, and I could see the exit signs. The one he put the light on the most was One Mike Thunderbird Road. I looked that up, and Thunderbird is synonymous with Antichrist spirit. Okay, also, too, Phoenix is the, the Thunderbird. So, Phoenix, Arizona. She was flying over Phoenix, Arizona, and she seen an exit called Thunderbird. So, yeah. Anyway, he was flying me, and it was pitch black darkness, like darkness we have never seen before. He shined the light down, and scenes of carnage, piles of torsos without heads, was stacked up like thousands upon thousands. It was so horrific, but I felt safe where I was. But viewing this was beyond horrible. He continued flying me and shining the light on these places all over with dead bodies. Then I was in a scene again and it was a group of people walking like a group of refugees and then I woke up and I f and I heard the spirit say exodus that was the first dream I felt like it was a rapture dream but now I'm not sure please share it and tell me what you think so yes this was a rapture dream and um, when you were flying around you had been raptured and you were being allowed to see uh, the tribulation and, um, let's see, I could feel it was horrible, literally flying over the U.S., and I knew, okay, yeah, so, and then, so before all this, uh, happened, all this carnage, you were shown, uh, the phoenix, that represents the phoenix and the thunderbird, so yeah, and that's confirmation, a lot of people have had dreams about, uh, phoenix rising, and, and things like that. Okay, and then she sent me this. I have it in Word. Um, this dream was very focused. I knew immediately when I woke up that it was a video that I liked back in the 80s called Talking Heads Burning Down the House. Now, you guys, a few days ago, I um, had a dream that I was uh, looking at my papa's house burning down. Actually, I lit it on fire. So I thought maybe I was doing something wrong, but I really believe it was prophetic. And I heard a tree crack, and this tree fell and hit the top of the house. And then the paramedics, the ambulance, and the fire department came. And I ended up sitting on the hill having a picnic lunch with these paramedics and firefighters. And we were just sitting on the hill watching this house burn. And so I believe it represented um, the tribulation and Israel. And uh, I'd have to get into really depth to explain why. But yeah, so anyway. Oh, and then I, I also, too, when I woke up, I had that song. Um, uh, uh, just going to stand there and watch me burn. Um, it's all right because I love the way you lie or something like that. Or no, I heard it heard that song years ago, but I believe the Lord was showing me that, um, these churches and Israel and, 
and these people that are caught, uh, um, that are unbelievers and that are in the law and stuff like that, it's going to be bad and it's about to happen. And the tree cracking represented Christ. He fell over. Okay. He brought judgment uh, upon this building that represents um, Israel and unbelievers. Okay, so uh, burning down the house, I was seeing people who I know and work with heads floating around in the dark and a spotlight would shine on them. And then they would be saying stuff, but I couldn't hear them. But as soon as I woke up the next day when I told my roommate about the dream, as soon as I had said talking heads, I knew it was the group talking heads. So I looked it up, and sure enough, the exact thing. I knew this dream was from the Father because of the way he gives me prophetic dreams is in symbols. So I have an interpretation, but okay. Uh, I was running around in Brooklyn. Okay, this is a purse private dream. I'm not going to discuss that. Beautiful. That's another private dream. Sorry, sister. Um, okay, the last dream, or actually was a sleeping vision. I was standing out in a field like where I live now in Indy, uh, looked like wheat, and I had a ball, and I was running and playing with a child, and I felt like family was with me, but I didn't see them. When all of a sudden I heard the most scariest sound I have ever heard, and it was either a huge asteroid or possibly a nuclear missile. It was so fast and so loud. Then I heard a sound that was like thousands of gas grills lighting, and I seen this huge wall of fire coming at me, and I said, no one can survive this. Vision over. That's amazing. So you're in the wheat field right now, sister, uh, and you're, you know, running around playing with, with the child because uh, you've been born again, honey. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I had another vision in 2014. I was watching as a spectator while these foreign soldiers was going from house to house in this nice suburban looking subdivision, taking families out at gunpoint. Some were being shot right there on the sidewalk before they could be put in these military buses. Women and children were crying. I seen this man try to comfort this child and they shot him. The one thing I remember is that they had these powder blue helmets on their heads and they looked Asian, but I'm not positive about that, but they weren't American and this looks like American neighborhood and people. All right. So yes, um, that is the tribulation period and the powder blue helmets. I've also seen that to um, when I had a dream um, and I seen uh, like a coat, I seen something that looked like Santa Cruz with the big, huge Ferris wheel on the coast. And I seen a sign come over. I was up in the air and I was pretty close to the top of this Ferris wheel and a bucket came over and I seen a sign that said war is coming, get prepared. And I also heard it being uh, read out by the Lord. And, um, and then I had woke up and went back to sleep and I was looking over that same city and it was destroyed. And I heard a great earthquake is coming soon. And I looked as far as I could see, and it was rubble. This whole city was rubble. And I seen soldiers um, running over the rubble, and they were screaming at people. And they had the powder blue hats on, like a um, maybe a turquoise or a baby blue. Or powder blue is probably a good um, expl you know, descript description for it. But um, And they also, to me, they looked like... They weren't American soldiers. They were some other military that was foreign. I, I thought maybe Asian or Muslim. I don't know. But I know one had a beard, a big, thick black beard. And um, so there's a confirmation to that as well. And but so you guys, you know, if you're watching this and you haven't given your life to Jesus, you haven't asked him into your heart you haven't, uh, you know, you don't believe there is a God or you don't believe that, you know, the Lord came in the flesh and gave his life on the cross. Um, you know, there is a God 
Don't wait one more second to give your life to him and ask him to come into your heart and forgive your sins and repent and turn to him because the time is short. We see so many things going on in the world right now. And if you read scripture and prophecy in the Bible, you will know that these prophecies are coming to pass right now as we speak. And um, the time is so short. Don't be, I'm just going to say that, you know, think about it. Where are you going to spend eternity? Where will you spend eternity? Because there is eternity. And to be separated from the Lord, your creator, is is terrible. You don't want to be cast into outer darkness somewhere. You want to be living with your creator, with your Lord, because he loves you. And, uh, you know, knock and the door shall be open. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the door. He is the way. There is only one way to be reconciled back to God, and that is through Jesus Christ and your belief and your faith. And uh, once you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and you make him, you know, he's your God. He will save you and he will keep you from this tribulation that's going to come upon the land. And it's going to be like nothing the world has ever seen. You know, what if, what if, what if all these people in the world are wrong? Because I know there's this new age religion stuff going around and yoga and, you know, uh, meditation or whatever it is, whatever this new satanic religion is that is sweeping, especially here in America. And they say, you're your own God. Like Oprah, you're, you are your own God. And there's more than one way into Nirvana or however she says it, you know, that's false. That is false. There's only one way. And that's through belief upon Jesus Christ and repentance and accepting him into your life and, and confessing that he's your Lord and your savior. And, uh, okay guys. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And um, have a blessed day.